If you ever get an alert code 2, the most common reason for this is a short. So in order to clear the alert code, you have to find the short and fix it. So there's multiple reasons for short. Uh, if the system's been working for a while and you suddenly you have a short or alert code 2, uh, the most common reason for this is there's a cut or nicked or chewed through wire that's causing two strands from the same wire to touch, kind of like this. Another common short that happens actually happens during installation. So if you're installing lights and you're adding to a system while the transformer is on and you cut a wire to make a connection, that'll cause a short. So when the wire cutter touches both strands of the same wire, that causes a short. Make sure to check the secondary leads, especially if you leave a long lead. Sometimes a lead is left to uh, add lights later. Well, check this pre-stripped wire. Sometimes it gets twisted up and that will cause a short. So now that we know some of the different reasons for a short to happen, the next step is to figure out where the short occurred. So the first step is to find the wire run where the short is happening. So if you have multiple wire runs going into your transformer, you want to remove wire runs as a process of elimination until the fault clears. Once you see the fault clear, you know that's the wire run that was causing the problem. So you can either do this one of two ways. You can either remove all the wire runs and add them back in one at a time, but I like to remove one wire run at a time until I find the wire run. So. Here we have the IT transformer, and you should always have a wire run with two strands, one strand going into the common, one strand going into the 14 volt. So for this part, you could actually just remove one side of the wire run. So you can remove the wire run, and then unplug the transformer, and plug the transformer back in, and check to see if the fall light has cleared. So we've unplugged the transformer, and we plugged it back in, and we can see that there's no fault light. So the wire run that I just removed has a short somewhere. So now you have to find the short and repair whatever the short may be. In this instance, we only have one wire run and one fixture on that run. So for us, it's really easy to figure out where the short is. Since we created it, I know it's right here. So in order to repair this, I would just simply separate the two strands so they're not touching and now the short is fixed. In most cases there will be multiple wire runs with multiple fixtures on each wire run. So in order to do a process of elimination, first I would check every single connection point. So anywhere where there is a wire connector, check to make sure that there is uh, no damage to the wires going there. If there's any wires visible, maybe they haven't been dug into the ground, you can check each wire. If you can't find it without disconnecting the fixtures, I would start with the last fixture on the run, disconnect it, do the same process where you unplug the transformer, plug the wire, uh, install the wire run back into the transformer, plug the transformer back on, and see if the fault has cleared. And then you just keep doing that until you find the fixture that's causing the problem. So a short is the most common reason for alert code 2. Other reasons would be that you're using halogen instead of LED, or that you've added too many fixtures to the transformer, which overloads the transformer. Another reason would be if you're not using a protective cover over an outdoor outlet and it rains and the outlet gets wet and that will also give you an alert code 2. Most of these are quick, easy fixes. A uh, short is a simple repair, but it might just take a long time to go through the process of elimination, depending on how many fixtures and wire runs you have on the system.